In this video, we're going to go back to our classroom data set and we're going to look at different testing. So specifically, we're going to start with, let's do classroom one and two. So you want to see if maybe classroom one is scoring higher um, or lower on any of these compared to classroom two. So the first thing that I'm going to do is select all, so control A if you're not on a Mac. Um, and I'm going to go up here to data, sort. Again, make sure that it's checked up here that your data has headers. I'm going to sort by classroom. So now I have all of my classrooms sorted. This is going to feel a little bit weird, but what I want you to do is highlight all of the data that is a one. So I'm going to do my cutoff right here. Now I'm going to go to home. And I'm just going to highlight it some color. It doesn't matter what color, but just for your own sanity so that you know which ones are classroom one and classroom two. So I'm going to highlight classroom two, some other color. Perfect. Okay, so now let's start with dibbles. So I want to see if classroom one scores on dibbles differs from classroom two. So I'm going to highlight all of my scores for classroom one. See why I highlighted and change colors. I'm going to copy this, control C, or you can right click and copy. And now I'm going to go to my independent sample t-test. So I have two groups that are totally different groups. This is not a pre-post situation. And I'm going to paste my data right here. So that's group one, classroom one. And I'm going to go back to my data sets, scroll down. I'm going to capture all of my double scores for classroom two, copy that. And again, not the right one, <laughs> my independent sample t-test. I'm going to drop them in group two. And if you noticed, that just changed. This is 0 .004. This is kind of hard to read, so let's make it bigger. So this is very, very small. In fact, it is quite obviously below 0 .05. It is 0 .004, which means it is significant. So I have a significant difference between classrooms one and classrooms two. So I can say an independent sample t-test was conducted to determine if the difference between classroom one and classroom two, to see if classroom one and classroom two differed on dibbles. And then I would write this down. Oh, look, it's actually the right thing. Uh, and I can say that um, at 95% confidence, our p-value is 0 0.004 or 0 0.005 if you want to round up. And it's significant. What we don't know right now, though, is which group is higher than the other group. So one thing that I can do is scroll down here towards the bottom. Actually, that doesn't matter. The easiest way to do this would be to copy these, go to data, data analysis, descriptives. Um, I did not include labels, summary statistics, OK. Oh, because this is why you always delete that and highlight within that because it's trying to pick up what I did in another Excel tab. Okay, so I have my mean right here for class room one. That's too many S's. Classroom one. I'm going to go back. I'm going to do the same thing with classroom two. So back to data analysis, descriptives, delete that column. And I'm going to highlight, whoops, all of my classroom two. Say OK. It's going to take me to another one. This one is classroom two. So I can see that 82 is higher. So classroom two is actually scoring higher on doubles than classroom one. And we can go back to the original data set. And we can test other things now. So we can do the exact same process, test if there's a difference between reading or math. We cannot do these. 
because they are categorical. We do this with our continuous information. So we have these three as our choices, and right now it's split by classrooms one and two. We could reorganize that and split it by male and female and see across these two classrooms, are females scoring higher on any of these or are males scoring higher on any of these?